Right, now we're going to look at subtracting mixed numbers with fractions. Very, very similar to adding mixed numbers with fractions. Uh, same success rate here, except the last part, we're just going to subtract the numbers instead of add them. So, success criteria is you need to convert the mixed numbers into mixed number into improper and in proper fraction. So I've got a video on that about um, how to ask for help. So you ask your ma, so you multiply and then add. And I'll show you how to do that. I think, but if you're not sure, go and have a quick look at that video. Very very simple. Then after you've done that, you need to find the common multiple between the two denominators, so obviously the two important parts of the fraction. Then convert the fractions into the equivalent fractions with the new denominators. So whatever you do to the bottom, do to the top. And then subtract the top and keep the bottom the same. So, let's have a go. A couple. So we've got two and two thirds, take away five six. So first thing we'll do is convert this mixed number into our improper fraction. So remember we ask our ma for help. So multiply and add. So we multiply the whole number with the denominator. So 2 times 3 gives me 6. Then we add what's left over from the top of the fraction, the 2, which gives me 8. So I've got 8 over 3. So now I've turned the mixed number into my improper fraction. Take away 5, 6. Now, we need to find the common denominator, okay? So this one's quite a straightforward one, in that we know that 3 times tables also has 6 in it. So this common denominator will be 6. So if we put it down here, we'll subtract. So this is already 6, so we'll just write it straight away in, so it's 5, 6. Then we need to convert the 3 the thirds and the sixths. So what have we done to three to get the six? We've times it by two. So what do we need to do to the top? Yes, you're right, we need to times by two. So that becomes 16. Now we have the same denominator, and that's the subtract. So it's very simple. Subtract top numbers, keep the bottom numbers the same. So 16, take away five, gives me 11. And then keep the bottom number the same, is 6. <coughs> so the answer is 11 over 6. Try another one. 1 and 4 sevenths take away half. So first thing, convert this, improper frac this into an improper fraction. Remember, if it's a mixed number, ask your ma for help. So 1 times 7 gives me 7. And then add the 4, which gives me 11. Take away 1 half equals. Now we need the same denominator. So, think the 7 times table, 7, doesn't work obviously for 2, 14, works for both, it's in the 7 times tables and the 2 times tables, so I'm going to change them both into 14, and then convert this, what have I done to 7 to get to 14, I've times it by 2, so I must times the top by 2 as well, what have I done to 2 to get to 14, I've times it by 7, what must I do to 1, I must times it by 7. So, now, dead simple. I've got my 22, take away 7, and the 14, the denominator stays the same. So 22, take away 7, gives me 15. My denominator stays the same, which is 14. So it's 15 over 4. 1 and 4 sevenths, take away half. And that's our answer. One more for you to have a go at. Um, 1 and 3 quarters take away 3 fifths. Remember, convert this into an improper fraction. Find the common denominator, convert them, and then subtract. Keep the top, bottom the same, and then take away the top. So if you want to have a go, um, I'm going to go through the answer in 3 seconds. So if you want to pause. So 3, 2, 1. Okay. First things first, convert this into an improper fraction. Ask our ma for help. It's a mixed number, ask ma for help. 1 times 4 is 4, add 3 is 7 over 4. Bottom number always stays the same. Take away 3 fifths equals 7 over 4. So common denominator is 4 between 4 and 5. And concentrate on the 5 times tables, it's the biggest number. So 5, 10 doesn't work, 15 doesn't work, 20, 20 works. So I'm going to put my 20 below here, 
and then convert these both so that there are the twentieths, the equivalent fraction of the twentieths. So four to get the twenty you times by five. So that means I need to times the top by five as well, which will give me seven times five is thirty five. To get from four sorry five to twenty I have to times by four. So that means I have to times the top by four, which will give me twelve. Then I do thirty five Take away 12, which will give me, and I'm just going to do a quick column subtraction to make sure, and always do this in the test, because it takes 2 seconds and it's definitely right. So 35, take away 12 gives me 23 over 20, bottom number says the same. There you go.